Excuse me, how do I get to the Wizard of Oz Festival in Chesterton, Indiana? Well, you'd have to follow the double yellow line. Follow the double yellow line. Yes. Follow the double yellow line. I have one word for you. Yes. Clearasil. Are you with the group Hell's Munchkins? No, 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 no. We're much scarier than that. Oh, boy. Oh. Lions, tigers, and bears, oh, my. If you're the cowardly lion, then you have to have courage. Oh, you got to get some. You got to have courage, otherwise you have to take back the costume. OK, Dorothy, show us how to go home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. You're still here. <laughs> All you do is follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick, follow the yellow brick, follow the yellow brick road. Gene Nelson, owner proprietor of Yellow Brick Road Gift Shop and Museum. What connection does Chesterton have to the actual book and movie? Absolutely none. Absolutely none. I named the store Yellow Brick Road, and that's the truth. Once I named the store Yellow Brick Road, it took on a life of its own. There's not many people left. There's only 14 of the original Munchkins. All the main characters are gone. Hi, can I take your order? Yeah, have you got any Munchkins? Yes, we do. What kind would you like? Uh, the kind from The Wizard of Oz. Hello? I'm um, not sure if I have any of those kind. I have assorted ones, though. Can you sing with me? Ding dong, the witch is dead. Witch old witch, the wicked witch. Let's hear it. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. There you go. And they're not only merely glazed, they're really most sincerely glazed. Thank you. This is Jerry Marin, one of the original munchkins. We represent the lollipop guild. The lollipop guild, the lollipop guild. And in the name of the lollipop guild, we, we wish, wish to, to welcome, welcome you to Munchkin Land. Land. So there. So <laughs> that's how I did it. It's almost 60 years ago. Wow. We had to work from about 6 in the morning till about 8 at night, six days a week. Only made $50 a week. I seem to remember you in 1950s television as Buster Brown in the of commercials. Of course, I was Buster Brown. Hey, kids, it's the Buster Brown Show! Folks, I want you to meet the famous coroner from The Wizard of Oz, the one and only Meinhardt Robbie. As coroner, I must have her. I thoroughly examined her. And she's not only merely dead, she's really most sincerely dead. You heard it here first. What was that line, I must aver? I must aver. Now, believe it or not, I've had thousands of people ask me what that second word line was. Right. Because the word aver has the same legal significance as I swear. I see. But the point is, it's not in common usage. Okay. Step right up. OK. We are ready to sign an order. And show me some of the autographs. Um, Munchkin the, Love, Margaret Pellegrini. Uh-huh, okay. the coroner. It's Jerry. Clarence. Yep. Clarence, the soldier. Clarence, care for a munchkin? Munchkin we, for a munchkin. Well, all right. Hi, care for a munchkin? <laughs> um, actually, I got one of my own here. I see. <laughs> She's got a Wizard of Oz room at home. And when the diaper is wet, a little buzzer goes off. I'm melting, I'm melting. <laughs> I'm working at the cultural center selling pop and stuff mm -hmm. to help raise money for the toilet. For the what? For the potty. The toilet. We're trying to put some potties in there. In the cultural center? Yeah. That's a good thing. They built a cultural center without restrooms? I think so, yeah. This is Roseanne, who tells everyone all the secrets about the movie and the, and the museum. Hi, Hi Roseanne. Great. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Same to you. This looks like Margaret Hamilton, The Wicked Witch of the West. That was Margaret Hamilton when she made the movie. Uh, she had a three-year-old son, and she was a kindergarten teacher. Don't take this as an insult, but have you been told you look something like Margaret Hamilton? You know, I have. <laughs> I'll get you, my pretties! <laughs> She's good. I'm frightened. What have you learned, Barry? Well, 
if I ever go looking for a better job in television, I won't look any further than World News Now, because if it wasn't there, I never really lost it to begin with. Is that it? That's all it is. Now close your eyes and think to yourself, there's no place like ABC. There's no place like ABC. There's no place like ABC. At least we're not CBS. There's no place like ABC. 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 I don't think I'm at the Oz Festival anymore. Well, you're in Montana and you're going to eat Rocky Mountain oysters now. You want to find out what Rocky Mountain oysters are? Tune in tomorrow 